Welcome to my medium. This is Johan here, and I'm going to show you today how to um, have your digital piano be recorded and looped using a looper pedal right here. Let's get started. So if you look at my article, you guys see two pictures. One is the looper that I'm using, and the other one is the cable that I'm using to do this. So make sure you get those two if you don't have one. The looper could be any looper. If you have a looper, you're good to go. You just need a cable then. If you have the cable and the looper, then you're good to go. You just have to watch this video. So let's make this short and let's make it pretty good. So let's get started. So, alrighty, so let's get here. Um, So first, of course you have to have the looper here. I placed it here. Um, you need to have the 1 4th inch jack going into this side of the looper uh, which should be the input and not the output the output should be going to your amp mine is the yamaha thr5a alrighty so next up is to have this 3.5 millimeter jack go into the headphone jack in front of the keyboard like so should be located in front of your keyboard. If not, it might be in the back, which is highly unlikely. But no, it's all keyboards are different. So basically, find your headphone jack on your keyboard and plug it in. It could be on top on some models, but mine is the Core D1. And there you go. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. But you'd probably be asking me right now, Hey, Johan, where's the poof? I want proof. Well, here it is then. Check this out. Record. As you can see, there is no sound. But watch this. I'm going to turn on my amp. And there will be sound. It's looping! And that's how you record your piano! Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.